Hello beautiful party people, welcome to today's Gator Bites on DEFCON 30 Day Zero. First we need to make sure we got everything packed up, not only for the contest, but other things that are going on at DEFCON. And from there, we make sure to get the rental vehicle and start packing things up in the SUV. It got a little bit tight, but after finally getting on the road after a few things hard on the day, we hit the open road, which was fantastic clear skies it was a good three and a half four hour drive from my location but on the halfway point i hit the mad greek cafe which is a fantastic stop get yourself some food i gotta say i love their baklava which is amazing get back on the road and arriving in vegas a little bit later than i intended but pulling in about 9 9 15 ish and traffic was great I was able to listen to the Damon audiobook on the way in, and then I hit about 45 minutes worth of traffic waiting to get to the Tuscany, because I went to B-Sides before attending DEF CON. After a couple days, this is the video of us walking from the casino through Harris, that is the connection to the link, and then going over to the Caesars Forum. So as we're going through and walking up, this takes a little bit of time to get there, if we timed it about a 10 to 11 minute walk to get from deep inside of Caesar's Forum, although Caesar's Forum is going to be huge. You see us going down, getting in line. We got the Welcome to DEF CON sign, and then this huge sticker used to be a carpet that would be stolen from the very first place DEF CON was ever held, called the Alexis Park. Since then, the carpet's no longer there, so they made a sticker, which is fantastic. As you can see, there's not that many people in line to start off the evening about 11.30ish. So we got a couple of goons, we've got the interview with Gallery and with Silk, I'll link to that video. From there, we started breaking out different games, started talking about getting our gear set up and visiting with folks in line that we hadn't seen in a while, which was great. As you can see, things get a little bit more lively as we go along further into the evening. About two o'clock, people start going through and taking naps. From here, we go through and have more people setting up their gear. About the four o'clock range is when things started happening a bit. We had about three or four levels deep by five o'clock. We are six, seven, and eight rows deep. So they started going through and crunching this all together uh, preemptively to be able to start getting the ticket sales going on at 7 a.m. in the morning. And they had these cool previous black badges here on display, which was pretty awesome. So from here, this is me taking pictures of me leaving the area because, hey, I helped run a contest. I am in a different area to go through and pick up tickets, but I wanted to have the experience of LionCon for the first time in a while. So with that, on our next video, we'll start talking about and showing what day one of DEFCON is going to be like.